Hey, Shalom and Makin, your brother Kunan, back at you with the truth. Started by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukh Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who will and teach while in leading Israel by a great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching his truth and his righteousness, bearing sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh Shai, whom the world and you call Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom, Shalom, and Makin. All right. We have to, um, we are, we are here. All right, we are here. All right, in the new year. All right, um, as coined by Elder Apostle Tahar in the year of Yahweh Shmi Ashai turn up, and um, all praises to Yahweh Shmi Ashai, man. All praises to Yahweh Shmi Ashai. All right, we, we're, we're much we're much more near to our salvation. All right, we're much more near to uh, America crumbling. All right, and and. The, the doctrine that we speak of is not of men. I'm not going to make this a long lesson. All right, we we don't speak the doctrine of men. We speak the the uh, the wisdom of the Hawabah Hashmi Shai, as the scripture would say, in um, First Corinthians. Let me see. First uh, Corinthians chapter two. I think it's somewhere down. Um, it's less. Uh, Start at verse uh, two. For I determined not to know anything among you. Let's start at verse one. Man, this chapter is good. It says, "And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech." So we we are not speaking like how, you know, some people come out of college and they start start to begin to speak like Edomites, all the all the fancy schmancy uh, words and you know all that. Uh, vocabulary stuff. We we speak like regular, you know, regular citizens, uh, in, in, a, in a, a poor, uh, a poor community. Okay, all right. We don't we don't we don't speak of high intellect. Or right? we make it. We speak simple. All right. Excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of yeah of, of Yahushai. All right, because Yahushai. The te what's the testimony of Yahweh? Let, let, let me grab the, uh, the precept for that real quick. Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And it says, um, what? And I fell at his feet to worship him. And as he said unto me, and this is the angel. All right. This is John the Revelator to, towards the angel. See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, and that's and that's what it is. All right, this the, the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, all right, and and we testified that we have the spirit of prophecy from our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, and we can go into the word prophecy. Let's go into the etymology of it real quick. All these other camps ain't preaching prophecy, and that's pissing off the Lord, and which is why the Lord is visiting. All right, those are those that not uh, preaching the word. Those those uh, wise virgin. All right, all right, and it says uh, prophecy. It says uh, function of a prophet. Okay, the gift of interpreting the will of the powers. All right. Meaning the thing spoken, meaning thing spoken or written by a prophet from our Lord Yahweh Shem Shai. Our prophecy, knowledge of the future, a prediction uttered under divine inspiration, and we are we get we're given inspiration by the Most High Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai. So uh, let's go back to it. All right, First Corinthians chapter two verse 1 and it says declaring unto you look at the word declaring clear meaning it says 
say something in a solemn and empath empathetic manner, meaning serious manner, proclaim, all right, announce officially or publicly, announce, make public or typically formal, acknowledge possession of, woo. So we declaring the testimony, we declaring the testimony of Yahawashan, all right, which is solemn, all right, unto you the testimony of our Lord Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. For I determined not to not to know anything among you save Yahweh Shai HaMashiach and him crucified. Okay? Because he's our how he's our savior for the nation of Israel. And he was crucified by whom? The uh, uh the Romans, okay, and two thirds of our people, which which called out uh, uh let his blood be upon our children. Okay, so they sold out our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, so we 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 should we should expect the same outcome on on Israel today. They're gonna sell us out because they know the truth cuts and it cuts deep. Verse three, and I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. Okay, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. Like they got a college degree, you boasting about, you know, uh, evolution theory and uh, 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 big bang theory. Okay, you boasting about basically your, your your false your false wisdom. All right, man's wisdom. Okay, Jesus Christ this, Jesus Christ that was born around this time or born around that time. He was born in the he was born in the winter time. The 25th of December No, that's man's wisdom And that's false wisdom But in the demonstration of the spirit And of power Alright, we come in the spirit and power Of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Meaning we, we eat We ate the whole road And went to go preach to the house of Israel Alright, to proclaim the names of our Lord Alright Yahweh, which is the heavenly father Through his son Yahweh Shai Which is the which is the savior? He is the he is the uh, he's the spirit of prophecy, all right. Which means to say before, okay, to interpret divine interpretations uh, of, of of what the scriptures say. Verse five: That your faith should stand in the wisdom of men. All right. Excuse me. Let's read it again. That your faith should not stand. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom. of of men but in the but in power of Yahweh through his son Yahweh shine okay so this word that we got this wisdom we, that we got is is given on from on high all right and if we preach it all right on the highways and hedges and also during these sit downs verse 6 how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect all right meaning perfect in what understanding or understanding what, what, the, what the will of the Lord is Yet not the wisdom of this world Nor of the princes of this world That come to naught Alright So meaning the word of the heavenly father through his son Alright The truth Puts everything that is not of the truth to nothing Alright Meaning it's, it gets pulver, pulverized Alright By way of this word But we speak in wisdom of Yahweh In a mystery even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh ordained, Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai ordained before the world unto our glory. So this was given from the uh, foundations of the heaven. Okay, this was this was already set up in the heavens. All right. So let that's why Paul said, "What? Um, let all things be done in order. Let all things be done decently and in order." Okay. Let's go to Acts. Well, the Acts, okay? Chapter 5, verse 28, saying, Did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name? What? The name Jesus Christ, man. That's what we tell you other camps. Stop teaching in the name of Jesus Christ. That 
that's going to uh, get you destroyed. That's going to get you uh, uh, rebuked. It. That's going to get you uh, put out like a, a like a candle. All right, like a lit candle going to get pulled out. All right, we telling you to teach in the name of Yah Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Okay, and behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Okay, all right. Remember, Yahushai blood. It, it, it purchased, all right, it purchased the elect, and it also purchased all of Israel in the kingdom to come. So his blood covered all of Israel, but on this side, and this going around, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be delivered. Verse 29, then Peter and the other apostles, all right, so they're teaching, so they're teaching in the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, okay, but now, other other uh, uh, scribes and Pharisees, okay, are against this name. All right, just like today, these Christians, all right, these Israel uh, Israel that know their Israel but preaching uh, the Christian doctrine. All right, they know that they 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 are against the the name Yahweh Ba Shem How much how much you know it doesn't it, it doesn't make a difference. All right, we're we're in the, we're in the second Rome again. All right, but this is Rome all over again. All right, and they're, they're preaching uh, Jesus Christ and the Most High. All right, which uh, th th it's there's a lot of gray hairs there, <clears throat> and the Lord does not appreciate any gray hairs. All right, and it says then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, "We ought to obey Yahweh by Hashem Shai rather than men." All right, we ought to obey Yahweh Shai rather than men. Okay, we obey. You know, today we obey who? Yahweh Ba Hashem Shai rather than men because man's wisdom is, is a failure. All right, men seek his own glory, and which is and which he's going to get destroyed for it. All right, what does the scripture say? Yahweh Shai said, "If any man uh, 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 exalted himself, let him be a base. All right, meaning let him be put down." Okay, and this says verse thirty that the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai. That Yahweh of our fathers, the power of our fathers, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on the tree. All right? Meaning, they crucified him. Okay? Crucified him, put him on the cross. Okay? He got put to death on the cross. All right? Verse 31, it says, Him have Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, exalted him, him the Most High Yahweh, Exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to forgive to no, for, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So we can't get to the Father without the Son. Yahweh is that mediator that we need for our sins to be covered. And we in verse 32, and we are his witnesses, and that goes into testimony. Of these things, and so is also the Holy Spirit <clears throat> from Yahweh have given to them that obey Him. So the Lord gave us what the Holy Spirit of the to understand these scriptures, uh, this wisdom knowledge, understand it from on high, man. All right, and that's what it is. In verse thirty-three, and this is for all you scoffers and oh, everybody who's against the. Against this truth When they heard that The Lord gave us this Holy Spirit You don't got it If you don't got the truth You're going to get destroyed man If you, Lest you repent Okay So all the all those all these false doctrines Are going to be put to naught When they heard that They were cut to the heart And took counsel to slay them So now Everybody's cut to the heart I mean which is the mind Alright what uh, Hebrew 4 and 12 said Alright the, the word of the Most High is quick and powerful Sharper than any two-edged sword I'm going to grab that after So, But they cut to the heart And now they want to wanted to attack Paul And the disciples Alright Peter and the Paul and the disciples Alright And now how what, what difference does it make today Now they're cut to the spirit Now they want to sell us out uh, 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 Frame us And uh, use hypocrisy all right, to try to get us uh, uh, to over to the enemy. Okay, Hebrew four and twelve. 
<clears throat> Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. I mean, it, 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 it cuts deep, okay? It, it will make you, you know, repent, okay? Uh, for the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, all right? I mean, it will reveal you, okay? Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart, which which is why they were cut in the spirit. All all these uh, um, uh, fat scribes and Pharisees are cut in the spirit. Today's fires, scribes and Pharisees are cut in the spirit. Okay, doesn't make a difference. Verse thirteen: Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, meaning no man, because man is a creature. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with. Whom we have to do, okay? Meaning we have to do the will of our Father through the only begotten Son, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh All right, and this word cuts deep, so everything is naked. Everybody's revealed because of this word is out. All right. Close it. We want to end with Jeremiah chapter seventeen, verse seven. Blesses the man that trusteth in Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, and whose hope. Who and whose hope Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is. And we the elect, we trust in our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and we hope in our Lord, all right, to deliver us from this wicked society of unbelievers and hip hypocrites. So Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is getting ready to uh, make dynamical changes in, in, in terms of increasing, all right, increasing everything, man, all right. And Lord willing, we. We, you know, we have that number to be covered with the mercy and the grace of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, all right. Expect spiritual power and expect uh, a great, um, a great return. Hopefully, this year. But we know our Lord Yahweh Shai is near. All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and exhorting. I want to end it by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Kakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well. And teach well and lead Israel by a great example this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect. Teaching and preaching is truth and his righteousness, purity and sincerity. And we know Yahweh Shai, whom the world only called Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom, O Makim, stay strong in the spirit. We must out here with the salvation of Yahweh Shai. Shalom.